Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool um, backgrounds for your banners. So you could be YouTube banners, uh, Twitter banners, all those kind of things. And you can never get enough of this technique. It'll be different every time you do it. And yeah, look, it turns out really cool. I've got two examples here. This one is um, quite a darker one. And then this one isn't so dark. And then I've also got this world at war poster in the background. But you can see the differences. They're basically just different patterns in the background. And yeah, they, they work pretty well. And yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. So to get started, we're going to go to File, New. We're going to make a new project. And uh, these are the dimensions we're going to be using. These are the dimensions for a Twitter header. So just 1,500 by 500 pixels. And just press OK. And now we want our background color to be, uh, it's kind of an offset black. So just type in this code 151515 into um, the, the foreground color. Then we're going to go to our paint bucket tool. If you don't have this, you might have the gradient tool. You just want to click and hold on the gradient. Click on the paint bucket and then she's gonna click on the background and now we have this uh, 151515 color or for the background. So now we're gonna make a new layer and then go to filter, render, which is right here, and then clouds. And this what this basically does is it just makes clouds on the layer that we had. Um, we can change the color of the clouds, although I wouldn't really recommend it, but you can change the color of the clouds just by changing the foreground color and the background color. So if you see this white, if you wanted that to be a red, just change the background color, make it red, and then go to filter, render, and then clouds again. And there we go, we have these red and um, uh, black clouds. You can do that depending on the, the kind of style of the header you're going for, but uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to do that because that's, com that's something completely different. Uh, okay, so now we have these clouds, um, we're going to go to edit, transform. And then we have all these things here, we can, we can do any of these. I'd recommend doing warps and then you can just mess around with all of these. But uh, yeah, this is basically where we get the, the difference in how this, uh, this technique looks different every time. So we can just, using different warps, it really doesn't matter, you can use a different warp for every header. And um, so yeah, we could go for this one, this, look, this one looks pretty well. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter and we can use anything here as well. So we can go to blur and we got motion blur. So that adds this really cool um, shine effect going to the top corner with the angle of 76. Uh, just play around with the, the distances as well. See whatever looks good. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty cool. And then um, all you need to do is go to the blending option and just set it to overlay. And there we go, we have this really cool pattern in the background already. And uh, it, re it works really well. And uh, this, like I said earlier, there are limitless um, possibilities you can come up with. So just to prove that, I'm going to show you another example. So we're going to make a new project again, same dimensions and everything, and just use the same background color. It's all good. Make a new layer, and then go to filter, render, and then clouds. Oh no, we don't want that. We want the black and white ones. Just like that. Filter, render, clouds. Okay. So now we can go to edit, transform, and warp again. And now we can just choose a different warp. So uh, we could go with an arch. Um, okay, maybe not this one because uh, unless you make it bigger and then choose the arch. But yeah, we, we don't really want it to go outside the project. So we're just going to pick a different one. Uh, we could do shell. Okay, yeah, this, this works pretty well. So basically we can just mess around with it. It doesn't need to look good at the start. As nothing will look good as soon as you started. So uh, yeah, just find whatever looks good, so just add a warp, then we go to filter, blur, and then this time we can choose a Gaussian blur instead of a motion blur, and just see what looks good. Okay, that looks good. And then again, we can just change it to overlay, and now we have a different pattern. And now we can, from there we can just go to our brushes, and then just add a light to the top, so just using our default brush right there, um, and then making our for making sure our foreground color is um, white, just like that. Make the brush a bit smaller, and then and just add our light there, and then just turn down the opacity. And there we go. We have this really cool uh, background to our Twitter. Header. You can do these all kinds of uh, different styles of banners, and you can see I've got four examples right here. And then we can just go to Google and just find a picture that we have. Or, or a poster or anything, just make it the size we want and then just set it to overlay and there we go, it looks really cool and um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video if you found it helpful, leave, don't forget to leave a like and uh, yeah, don't forget to tweet any designs that you've, that you've made as a result of this uh, tutorial 
And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.